Motorists can expect a mixed price adjustment on fuel products effective tomorrow. Meanwhile, more than 100 million pesos worth of developmental loans has been released for the Marcus Jr. administration's flagship housing project. These and other stories in tonight's business news wrap up by Sujin Kim. Motorists can now continue to maximize the rollback in gasoline prices this week as oil firms sustain a 10 centavo decrease per liter. On the other hand, various companies, Sea Oil, Shell, Caltex, and Clean Fuel had already announced price hikes in diesel and kerosene set for tomorrow. The Department of Budget and Management is releasing 4 billion pesos to the Office of the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity for the Payapa at Masaganang Pamayanan Program, best known as the Pamana Program. The budget is set to be used for the delivery of much-needed infrastructure projects, including roads and bridges, as well as the generation of additional livelihood and job opportunities among conflicted communities. The Home Development Mutual Fund or PAG-IBIG is disbursing another 101 million and 500,000 worth of developmental loan for the Pambansang Pabahay para sa Pilipino or 4PH. This time for the housing project in Bukawi, Bulacan. A total of 1,888 families are expected to benefit from the initiative. The project will have five multi-level condominium buildings, each with 14 floors. This is to address the need for decent and affordable housing in the area. The Philippine Statistics Authority welcomes ideas and recommendations on operationalizing statistical mapping within creative and cultural sectors. Some economists and researchers ask for a unified Philippine cultural statistics framework with roadmaps that categorize Filipino heritage, both tangible and intangible, such as music. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the New and Better Philippines.